This is Rocco right now. He's one of the dogs here at Central Bark Doggy Daycare. He's just hanging out. I have no idea what this video is gonna be about, but hopefully we'll learn something. The reason I like to encourage you to use the clicker is because it teaches humans to have very good timing. When you have that button in your hand to press, the moment they do something you like, then they're gonna be a lot more responsive. We're going around to all the dogs and seeing how they're doing with the click, making sure that they understand what the click means. Rebecca and Simon are doing a beautiful job here. You can see the nice proximity they are, nice and close to each other. Watch me. Very nice. Look at that. Go ahead and lift it up. Awesome job, very good. And Moose has been a little shy in this environment, but he's opening up, he's doing a lot better. I want you to go to the next level, taking your treat and dropping it on the ground. When something has movement to it, our dogs are far more likely to go after it as opposed to being set in front of them. Be prepared to cover the treat up. Now that's, that's a dog using restraint. Lure training is a fantastic way to teach a dog something new for the first time. It's not good enough to teach your dogs in your house or in your living room or even in your front and backyard. If you want your dog to listen to you in all environments, you have to train in a huge variety of environments. Even moving from that corner to over here is a completely new experience for them. It's important when we're working with our dogs to be understanding, to be very real. Sit. Did you see that? We're just luring him. I would click him if he didn't know lie down to let him know I like that behavior. Yes. Ah, why did I say at and pull my hand away? He got up. You gotta communicate to your dog. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Does, does she know? Does she know what lie down means? Oh, okay. Well, there should be a tree that her nose and you should be luring her to do down, not telling her to do something. Very good. Huh? Almost you're doing so well. Lots of genuine love here. Which I know you guys aren't short on, but you just have to inject your training more. The counterpart to the click or the word yes is the word no, followed by withholding of a reward. So, yes. Very good. I'm gonna let him have a tiny piece out of my hand. Yes. Ah, right there. Now when he goes into a down, I'm gonna say down. Just like that. You can use any hand signal you want, but dogs are heavily responsive to body language. So make sure you're using your hands. Yes, look at that moose. Does he know what sit means? Yeah. So don't say sit, he has no idea what that means. The first 100 times we're teaching him to sit, we don't say it until he does it. Okay. So sit, that's called sit. Very good, you just sat, wonderful job. That's how I talk to my dog. That's exactly, no, I mean, I, and watch, right here. I see it works. Very good, you're doing wonderful. It's a special dog, he's a good dog. When our dog does not sit and they know sit. Sit. What is the next word out of our mouth? The word is no, that's correct. So it's never sit, sit, sit. It's sit, no, sit. Your dog will learn how to sit the first time every time if you always apply that rule. It's really natural to work with a dog when you don't try and overcomplicate it. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you click thumbs up and leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos or what you liked about this video. All right, we'll see you guys next time.